Hey everybody, welcome back, where today it is the first week of the Malamar Games, Season 2. Wow, we got some heavy hitters in here uh, this season. We got we got Ashton Cox in here, which I'm pretty sure is in the first season, but you know. We got the guy in the beanie, we got Joe UX9, um, Necra, Neil VGC, Nino Poker Bros was in the last season as well. Um, we got Sierra Dawn. We got my opponent today, Strider VGC. Um, you might know them better as Marcus Dion. They did really, really good in Orlando and Knoxville, uh, earning a whole bunch of CP at both of those. So, you know, I mean, keep an eye out for them. They're they're going places. Hopefully they don't uh, completely destroy us today. <laughs> uh, anyway, this week the theme is that... What is my Mareep doing? Why is it moving like that? That's so weird. Uh, the theme is that we can't use any of the top 100 Pokemon. I have a picture available. I will throw it on the screen uh, so you can look through all those Pokemon if you would like. But basically, we weren't allowed to use any of those Pokemon. So today, what I brought is a modified version of the Mareep team that is also featuring Colossal <laughs> and Squawkabilly and Low Kicks. It's like a little... Uh, Who's who of uh, Andy LaVGC videos. It's kind of weird. So uh, we have the Mareep and the Toxtricity combo going on. Um, if you don't know how that works, basically they both have plus so that um, whenever they're on the field together, they both have special attack that's 1.5 times. Add that in with the Life Orb, the Modest Nature, a Helping Hand, and Toxtricity is doing insane amounts of damage. On top of that, we can Serastalize to Electric type to do even more damage. Um, so it's really aggressive. Toxtricity is not very fast, but for the like without the top 100 Pokemon, they're really like the format isn't that fast. So Toxtricity should be able to outspeed a lot of things, especially with the cotton cotton spore support that Mareep's gonna give. I'm running choice band low kicks just because it's really offensive. That first impression hits like a truck. Um, it gets U-turn. We're running Act Kick, and we are also running the Sucker Punch. Just a big, big, big damage boy. We can do like a whole bunch of damage with our lead, and then low kicks can come in and sweep in the end, or vice versa. Squawkabilly is kind of the best support Pokemon when you take out the top 100. <laughs> um, it's also immune to ground, which is really important. I have a lot of ground weaknesses. Um, the low kicks and the Squawkabilly really help me mitigate that a little bit. I'm just running like Parting Shot, um, Brave Bird, standard kind of like support Squawkability stuff. Bruxish has the ability Dazzling. If you don't know what Dazzling does, it says that your opponent can't click priority moves, which is great. Um, really helps the Colossal combo out because it means that they can't fake us out. Um, I'm running Trick Room just in case, like, if I decide that Colossal is setting it up isn't viable, we can just set up Trick Room and do Trick Room stuff instead. Um, very, very cool mod. And then, lastly, you know, obviously the Toxtricity the Colossal. Gosh, I've been holding that burp for a hot minute. Um, <laughs> Toxtricity, Overdrive, Sludge Bomb. Uh, I don't remember what the other move is. Hold on. It's definitely Overdrive and Sludge Bomb and... Snarl. That's right. I picked a weird move. I don't know why I picked Snarl. It seemed like a good idea. And then Colossal, Terra, Terra Ground with the Rock Slide. It's the physical Colossal set that I used in the Quadruple Ducks video. Very, very excited. Hopefully we can do good today. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. It's okay to be nervous. Um, with that, make sure you leave the likes and the comments and the subscribes. If you like the video, check out my opponent, Strider VGC. I will link their YouTube down in the, comp the, the description. Uh, if you want to see their stuff, sorry, they just, they messaged me. I had to message them back. If you want to see their stuff, go check them out. They're very good at the game, as you can tell by their tournament results. And they don't have a whole lot of love, so go show them some love. Tell them Andy sent you. Um, with that, let's jump right to the battles. All right, here we are. Father Dijon is a very f funny name. I respect it. All right. So Primate Weavile. <laughs> Let me think about this here. How do I want to lead? Because I could totally just go like Mareep Toxtricity, but I don't know if that gets me where I need to be. Let's... Oh, I don't know what the item on the Fletch Hinder is. Um, I'm going to say it's probably Eviolite Primeape, though. Does regular Primeape get Defiant? I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Let's lead... Let's lead Low Kicks plus... 
Bruxish. No. Let's go low kicks Toxtricity. And then we'll bring Reap in the back. And we'll bring... I want to bring... What do I want to bring? Let's bring... The Squawkabilly. Ooh, actually... Yeah, let's bring the Squawkabilly. I'm a little nervous about this, but I think we can do it. I think I have a plan. We'll see if the plan works, but I at least have a plan, right? It's better than not having a plan at all. Let me fix myself. I'm a little too far in the corner. Okay. I keep looking over at my my thing like uh like I like I'm nervous about something. Okay, so here's the deal, right? Um, I don't know what the item is on this Fletchinder, but it almost doesn't matter. Because if I do this, um if I do this, then will we be okay? Let's do this. Because I'll at least stop Priority Tailwind. And, I mean, there's a chance that Toxtricity is faster than Fletchender. That didn't do as much as I was expecting, but it is a 4 times resist. Oh, is it Weakness Policy? It's Weakness Policy. That's a little funky. Okay, alright. I think we're faster than the Bramblegast? Question mark? We are not. So it disappears. Alright, so we're going to knock out Fletchender. That dude's going to come in next turn. Actually, we might not knock out Fletchender. Hmm. That's not as much damage as I was hoping to do. Um, let's think about this. I have to switch because I'm choice banned. Obviously, they don't know that. Um. Actually, wait. I mean, I have to switch. So let's switch to Marie. I actually have no idea if Toxtricity takes this or not. So I guess let's find out. That's a buff Fletch in there. That's gotta be Eviolite, right? Because I was thinking that the, the Primeape was Eviolite, but I feel like it's probably the, the Fletch Ender because it, it was beefy. Oh, they get Windrider even when they're not on the field. That's crazy. Wow, okay. All right, we can beat this. I just didn't know what I was playing against yet. Um, all right, so let's get low kicks in again, right? Um, let's T-Bolt here and let's just, let's just go for the first impression. Ah, they have protect. That's kind of mean. Who's running protect these days? Everybody. All right, well, that's kind of rough. Will-O-Wisp? Okay. Alright, this is a very well-constructed team. I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> That's okay. This is what Game 2 and Game 3 are for. I'm locked in the first impression now, which is kind of rough. But it is what it is. They got the Tailwind up. This dude's at plus three, which is kind of nuts. What a funky strategy they picked. Interesting. So now they know my items. Alright, I'm going to do this, and I have to switch into Squawk ability. So at least I'll get an Intimidate off, which is kind of good. And then maybe next turn we can, like, Brave Bird... I don't know if I take an attack from the- Oh, they're just gonna Boom Burst, aren't they? That's kinda rough for me. Terra Normal Boom Burst? Okay. <laughs> We're doing all the things on both sides of the field. Yeah, that Terra Normal Boom Burst is gonna hurt a lot, actually. I'm kinda in a really bad position here. I played this game very poorly. Oh, well, both of my Mons live. Where's the Bramblegast attack? 
seed bomb into my poor little sheep. Okay. That's fine. This game went really poorly. I gotta say. But, you know, that happens. Um, we kind of have to lock in a Sucker Punch now, which I really don't want to do, but, I mean, I really don't have anything else to do. I can tear it a Ghost to live the Noivern's attack. Um. Hmm. So I guess, I, I all I have is Brave Bird. That's kind of rough for me. Um. I guess we'll just do this. I really don't have anything better to do. I'm not giving up any information here just because, like, they already know my ter my Terra types. We get the KO, which is great, but they're probably gonna knock out my low kicks with the with the boom burst. Yeah. That's fair. There's no way I take this. I'm not running any bulk on low kicks, yeah. Alright, well, I kind of underestimated the speed tiers here, huh? That's my bad. It be like that. At least I get Tailwind on the turn their Tailwind runs out. <laughs> um, okay. Alright, I have plans for next game. I think we can do stuff. Crocodiles when they decide they need in the back. Okay. I kind of want to see... Ah, I'm at minus one now, so it's kind of worthless. I kind of want to see how much this Brave Bird does. Yeah, that's fair. Just the boom burst again. Okay, you know, honestly, after a little bit of chip, uh, that KO is if we're not at minus one. So that's good to know. That's good information. Okay. All right. That went poorly, but it's okay. We have we have a plan maybe for the next game, maybe. Um, I wasn't expecting weakness policy Bramblegast, and that's kind of a problem. I don't know what to do about that. I might be able to just knock it out, though. Let me think. Because I can just lead... Okay. I can just go for the Colossal lead. We're not going to outspeed after Tailwind, but we will at least be a lot better positioned, I think. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. I feel like we're gonna lose. <laughs> okay, um, let's think, let's think, let's think. So I could just lead low kicks and sucker punch. Honestly, that wouldn't be terrible. I think I like that. Let's go. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's go Bruxish, Bruxish Colossal. Low kicks. Squawkabilly. Let's try this, uh, these four. Hmm. Because I could, like... I think maybe... Maybe low kicks plus squawkability was the play. I don't know how fast Fletchender is. And that's a problem. Let me see if I can look it up really quick. It's kind of too late now. Oh, they go for Primate Weavile. Okay, that's fine, actually. Let me just double check that I have the right ability, because if I don't, this is going to be really embarrassing. It is dazzling. Okay, it was right there. That's great. Okay. So I'm going to go for this. Do I want to harass I don't really need to yet. 
Let's just go for a Flare Blitz. Let's see how much damage that does. Actually... No, because they're just gonna, like, what? Beat up Rage Fist? Hmm. Let's do this. Wow, that did more damage than I was expecting. But that's okay. I didn't really get, you know, to, like, test this out or anything beforehand, so... It kind of is what it is. Colossal should move next. Yes. Do I KO? Yes! Okay, that's great. Oh, the Weavile can't really do a whole lot now. Especially if it went for beat up into Primate. It went for Ice Spinner. Oh, they were expecting me to Terrastalize. That did a lot. That did a lot more than I would expect. Oh, it's a crit. Okay, alright. Okay. What comes in? I do at least block priority move still. I'm thinking my move is just... Because I don't know what the any items are in anything. Um... I think I just want to... What do I think the Sash is? It's probably on Weavile. I'm just going to go for this. This is my best play. Aqua Jet the Weavile. Break Sash, hopefully. I looks like I missed something. I always miss something. Okay. That's not the end of the world. Weavile can be taken care of by other things on the team, so... At least I have that. Oh, they Night Slash the Bruxish, and we live. That's actually kind of fantastic. <laughs> and we get leftovers recovery. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, it's Crocodile that comes in now. Um, I... What do I think I need to do? <clears throat> I think what's in the back probably beats Crocodile. Because I have... Yeah. Yeah, so I don't think we really need to worry about Crocodile too much. Honestly. Um, let's just Aqua Jet the Crocodile for damage, and then let's just go for another Rock Slide. As long as I don't miss Weavile, I feel pretty good about this. I mean, I guess they could, like, protect the Weavile or something. Let's see what the Terrastal, the Terrastal type on this dude is. What do we got? Terra... Because this might actually take away your... Okay, it's Terra Ground. That makes sense. Oh, I already knew that. It's on my sheet. It, or my, my Discord message. Okay, that's fine. Little bit of Chip little bit of rock slide. If we get a flinch, that'd be amazing. Flinch, 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 flinch. <coughs> My boy Colossal always coming in clutch. Crunch is an interesting choice there. Why terrestrialize if you're going to click crunch? I wonder if the crocodile has protect. Probably, right? A little bit of more HP back. Bring low kicks in. I think I outspeed Crocodile. At least I should. Crocodile's not that fast. So I'm just going to Aqua Jet again. And let's go ahead and just... Um, let's lock ourselves into U-turn because we can't miss that. Oh, I guess they're not bug type any... Or they're not dark types. They're not weak to that. But it should be fine. It's choice band. And they're already at such low HP. Oh, is this Crocodile Life Orb? I feel like its HP is lower than I remember it being. A little bit of more HP. Wow, Bruxish, Bruxish is chilling. And if I lead this and then go with the Fletchender lead, I can just Trick Room, technically. Wow, yeah, one more Aqua Jet and they're just kind of gone. They are faster than me, that's so interesting. How fast is Crocodile? I think I live this. Yeah. Just because it's not very effective. I really thought low kicks would be faster in this meta. It is life orb. Goodbye. I guess that's what the double priority moves are for still. <laughs> that was, uh, okay. Alright, game one went very bad. Game two went very well. Okay. So... I think we can do this. We can definitely do this. Do they have a lead that can beat Colossal? I don't think they do. Um, I mean, I guess Bramblegast can, like, 
get get out probably if they go for Tailwind. Do I want to switch up the lead is the question? Because... Because what could I do, right? Like, hmm. Because we could go... I'm really sad the Mareep's not playing a bigger role, but... I blame the, the Bramble Gas for that. What was I thinking? Let's just go Bruxis Colossal. Um, let's just bring the same four. I feel okay about those four Pokemon. I think they can deal with whatever we need them to deal with. Hopefully. Hopefully. It really depends on how much speed they're running on Bramblegast. Was it? It was slower than the Noivern, right? Crocodile Fletchender is the lead. Okay, that's interesting. That's something different. They do get an Intimidate right off the bat, which is kind of bad for me. It's kind of bad for business, but that's okay. I could just Trick Room here, honestly, and that wouldn't be awful. Um, I'm going to just do the thing. Let's go ahead and Terrastalize the Ground. We'll take less damage from everything this way. And... Hmm... Do I want a rock slide? They're gonna get the tailwind up is the problem. So let's go. I could just trick room. I mean, it, I mean, that's assuming Bruxess lives. It probably does. Let's just do the thing. Let's just do the thing. Let's see what happens. This crocodile is really fast, is a pro which is a problem for me. And they're running Protect on, like, everything, so really my low kicks with a Choice Band is kind of not great. Because I can, I can first impression, sure, but if they're just going to Protect, I don't really accomplish anything. We're forcing the Terra early on ourselves here, but we should be able to take whatever Crocodile goes for. Colossal is very physically bulky. And we're running max HP. Yeah, there's the Tailwind. I couldn't really do anything to stop the Tailwind. We take a little bit of damage. We're going to get the Rock Slide up. There's the EQ. They made a very scary team. I'm a little impressed with how scary their team is. All right, everybody lives, so I feel fine. We should knock out Fletchender here as long as we don't miss. We still do a good chunk of damage to Crocodile. I should have maybe just gone for like Switch and then click Trick Room. I don't know. The Intimidate on this Crocodile is kind of huge. I can just double Protect next turn to stall it a turn of Tailwind. I think that's what we're going to have to do. There's the Noivern. Mmm. Okay. I mean, it is what it is. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to protect twice. I can't do a whole lot about this Noivern. Does the Crooked Owl protect? It doesn't. Okay, they click Air Cutter. That's an interesting move for them to click. Maybe they thought... Oh, oh, right. That hits both Pokemon. I forgot. That's scary. How much did I take from that Earthquake? Too much for this to be comfy, probably. Hmm. I don't think I take Air Cutter plus whatever, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. How many turns of Tailwind? Two still? God damn. Okay. Alright. Let's get Squawkabilly in. Is this really what I want to do? This feels like such a bad play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. Let's double, just double switch. I don't like doing that, but it's what I have right now. With all the priority tailwind mods in the top 100, we st we're still facing priority tailwind. <laughs> I'm a little sad about it, being honest here. If Lowkick somehow survives this turn, we can get an attack off next turn, probably, which would be kind of huge. But with the air cutter... Oh yeah, that's gotta be like specs damage. That was so much damage. Alright, so let's get Colossal in. And then what? Mm -hmm. I don't like this plan. This is a bad plan. <laughs> that air cutter did so much damage. All this just to stall out Tailwind, too. I wasn't expecting, like, to play against, like, really strong Tailwind, but I, I don't know. Maybe I just didn't look at the Mons enough. That's my bad. Colossal protects. Squawk Billy dies. I'm sad. This Crocodile's annoying, too. <laughs> I, there's no way I take Aqua Jet plus the uh, the thing, right? I mean, I have to go for it. It's all I have. We just kind of have to hope for Rock Slide flinches. Because I don't think I'm going to knock out the, the Noivern at this point. I just need some flinches. Give me some flinches, please. The flinch gods. Wow, that's a bulky Noivern. Give me flinches. Two flinches. One flinch. Oh, crunch. Okay. That's fine. I'm okay with that. You know what? We can make that work, maybe. We get another chance for flinches. Um. I mean, let's go ahead and just rock slide again. Give me another flinch, please. For me. Flinch the crocodile. Please, 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 please. Ah, this game sucks. I'm so sad. Damn, what a way to go out. Yeah, there's so many Pokemon that aren't in the top 100. It's kind of hard to, like, plan for anything. Damn. Damn. All right, everybody. Well, that's the video. If you liked the video, once again, leave a big fat like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the next one. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. <laughs> go go show some love to Strider BGC. I'll link all their stuff down in the description. Tell them Andy sent you. And with that, everybody, my name's Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time.